So basically, right now, Israel is uh, targeting a number of different places, including hospitals, houses, lands. Uh, at the moment of me speaking right now, there's a sound of a huge explosion in the area around us. Uh, we will know where this is and also confirm with you. Of what course. is really saddening, or the real tragedy here, is about uh, the, the children. We've been seeing a lot of videos and pictures and actually dead bodies in hospitals uh, of children and innocent children. Uh, they, they, a person or a human cannot just stand silent, silent in front of those pictures. They bring anyone to tears except for Mahmoud Abbas, obviously, and uh, Ban Ki-moon, and the Israeli community, and those who support Israel aggression on Gaza. Uh, last night, two days ago, there was a father crying over his four-year-old child, dead buddy, who, who lost half of his head, and asking him to wake up as he get, got him some toys and some things. Uh, another uh, dad uh, his, his only daughter uh, was critically injured and he was crying loudly, take my blood and give it to my child and bring her back to life. Um, another six-year-old boy is lying, laying in, in bed in a hospital and basically he doesn't even know that his family was uh, targeted. Um, so. The situation is only getting harder, kids are being targeted, and the international community stands silent. Now, Hala, I'll give you a moment. So uh, the situation is, is totally uh, deteriorating in hospitals. Egypt, uh, Egypt situation is, people are actually surprised from, of what Egypt is doing right now. Uh, this is the first time is, Egypt actually keeps, on, uh, keeps slapping the Palestinian people on their faces since the day one of escalation. We're talking about 900 injuries here. We're talking about kids, innocent kids, and children, and, and women, and elderly men who are being killed. And, and until now, uh, what Egypt is doing is nothing. The open the borders for those who hold Egyptian passports, as if the rest of Palestinians with no Egyptian passports are not human beings, are not people who actually deserve medication. Gazans are suffering on a daily basis, not to mention the Israeli blockade, not to mention the water shortage and the, the fuel shortage and the electricity problems. So among all of those, now we're actually suffering a war while the international community chooses to stand silent and what actually angers Palestinian even more that they are actually led by the Palestinian Authority Chief Mahmoud Abbas that seems not to understand what's really happening on the ground and is still calling for peace talks while people are dying. While he actually so showed sympathy with those who are killed on the Israeli side, the three Israeli settlers who already live in illegal settlements in, in, in Palestine in the occupied lands. So we cannot only blame the international community but we actually blame a person who claims to be a leader of the Palestinians. Okay, Halla Savadi, they're reporting from Gaza. Halla, uh, thank you for that update there.